There are a never-ending amount of terminated Roblox players, which leads me to wonder, what happens to all of those accounts after they're banned? Oh wow, I never thought about that. According to the Roblox Wiki, account deletion, also referred to as account termination, is when a player's account is disabled or permanently banned from Roblox. After 30 days have passed, the terminated account becomes permanently unrecoverable in most cases. The key word here is, in most cases. However, theorists like myself like to believe that terminated Roblox accounts do not become unrecoverable, but instead end up in a place known as... Bam land. Bam, bam, bam. Hello, weird loading menu. Welcome to Bam Land. If you haven't caught on to it already, oh god. If, if you haven't caught on to it already, yes, this is basically Roblox hell. If you're bad enough to get entirely terminated from the platform, you will end up in a place known as Banland. The only salvation that deleted Roblox accounts will ever know. Though I will say, even though it says Roblox accounts are deleted after 30 days, I don't know if that's necessarily true, considering the information of accounts stay behind, such as this fella here, Stanley, who doesn't exist, but still has information on Roblox. I have made a previous video on Banland in the past, so today I'm going to show you entirely new Banlands that you haven't seen, such as this strange purple abyss. A lot of people's takes on this hellish place is like a weird purple space domain where band players float around in agony, or, you know, sometimes rot into a skeleton. You got any cigarettes? Oh! Oh, I, I guess they're still alive. Now we climb these extremely sketchy stairs that will probably kill us. Knock for assistance? Uh, okay. Knocks. I I'm trying to go in, I'm trying to break and enter into this home, but the door is glued shut. So all that we get to see is a computer. Perhaps if you make it through this door, you can access that computer and reactivate your Roblox account. But we'll never know because it's impossible to reach it. Here we have a similar band land. This one's also in a purple space abyss. However, it appears to have a bit more to explore. It also has a bunch of guns. Uh, you know, in case anyone tries to attack me, we are in Banland. Is that what I think it is? <laughs> oh, I almost fell. This right here is actually Dignity's Music Box, or Dignity's Music Uploader. According to the Wikipedia, the reason that Dignity was actually banned in the first place prior to becoming an exploiter than an account that was hacked by a hacker and used to do hacking, they were originally banned for their place, Dignity's Music Uploader. The reason Dignity was banned for uploading this music is because one of the songs, called Boulevard of Broken Dreams, I'm sure many of you know it, contained strong language. Strong enough to get his account terminated, apparently, which is so unfair. But at least they got to come back in 2012 to hack Roblox for a little bit. Uh, okay, over here we have a body that is hanging from some, uh, poles, I guess? Violent, but fitting. Over here we have an award. Uh, apparently you can get awarded for being banned from Roblox. I, I actually don't understand and why this is here, it's a 5th annual Bloxy Award, and Telemon, who is, is not banned, is also standing here. Ominously staring at the 2010 Starter Place house, which is currently falling apart as we speak. I mean, you could literally watch it as it literally tumbles to the ground. Oh, this Okay, let's, let's help the process. Oh, oh my god, wow, you can actually freaking destroy this thing. That's kind of awesome. <gasps> There's a portal in here. Let's go in it. Oh, oh. Ne never mind, it's just a swirl. Wow. Another dead guy hanging from a thing. Oh, hey, is, is that a leg? Oh, s sorry, Telemon, I, I didn't mean to kill you. And now for the ultimate reveal, over here we have... Dun, dun, dun. Uh, this guy. Well, I imagine they're cool kid, the Roblox exploiter slash hacker, but I can't really tell. All I know is I just destroyed the- oh. But it appears that they cannot be destroyed by the man hammer. <laughs> Whoa, what am I looking at? Okay, so as soon as you join this game, uh, you'll notice that your body parts are a little uh, weird. That they're, they're kind of moving however they want to move. And you're greeted by like a shoe bill bird that says, Hello, welcome to the band land. Thank you. Shoe bill bird. Seems like everyone gets their own cozy little prison cell. I mean, at least you get like books and stuff and, you know, a toilet connected to your sink. I mean, I, I use my sink as a toilet anyway, so that's not much of a change. This one obviously has a McDonald's because, uh, yeah, hell would have a McDonald's. It's McDonald's. They're everywhere. 
We just crashed through the wall of this McDonald's. Go back here. Maybe we can get ourselves a Big Mac. The only toys they give here are the Snoopy Charlie Brown movie collection. This really is Banland. Ouch! All right. Uh, so in conclusion, this this Banland is uh is probably the best Banland ever. You get like a full house with like bedrooms and everything, even some decent closet storage. This ain't half bad. Now we've arrived at the polar opposite of the last Banland. This one is quite literally hell. I mean, it, it, there's no other way to explain this. First we take. A nice warm walk over the fiery bridge of hell. Yay! Then we get a choice. Do we want to go to the strange figure over there in a cage or to that nice friendly house? <laughs> I'm gonna go with the nice friendly house. Hey everybody, I'm home. Oh, oh, there's just one person here. Uh they're standing in the corner, uh looking ominous. Hey! You all right, buddy? Well, I, I think they're just having an emotional moment here, considering they're they're living their days out in Banland. Oh, okay. We can't even high five the the soulless person chained up in a cage above the lava. That's sad. They got slides here. This place is fun. At the top of this tower, there's a friendly fella who who might be one x one x one x one x because they they really look like it. Regenerating Black Rock Castle. <gasps> what does it mean? I actually really dig this version of Banland because it's kind of just like an evil version of the actual Roblox. Like here we have the famous map crossroads but it's haunted by this gross green goo that kills you if you touch it and is also surrounded by boiling lava okay they also have doom spire here so they got some pretty good selections for games in this place and that looks like sword fight on the heights despite this place being a boiling pit of lava it's not too bad here we have one of my favorite types of bandland this is one where you don't only just get to visit this strange and mysterious place but you get to see the prisoners that are trapped here as well such as 1x 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 one. Oh no. Here we have the first Roblox account ever, which was named Admin and was banned because the admins were like, hey, you're not an admin. Get out of here. Rip to that guy. This one actually has moving people as well, which is kind of disturbing. This was just like a zombie. But this one over here is infamous Roblox hacker Cool Kid, who's very naked right now. Should put some clothes on the cool kid. Cool. On top of that cliff is a user named Isotoxic, who apparently was a Roblox YouTuber, but was terminated in 2017 due to uploading a retextured decal of the Roblox egg on your face item. If you know what that is, you know it's cursed. If you don't know what that is, well, don't ask me. That that actually makes a lot of sense that that user would be in here. Here, okay, I, I don't know who this is supposed to be, but they're, they're dead now. I killed them. Now I'm stomping on them. Here is Roblox Police, who is apparently alive, but they can only hop around like a sad, injured rabbit. Roblox Police is a user who was known as a scripter, but is now terminated due to being compromised in June of 2016. Sad. Sad moment. And now last but certainly not least, we have a user known as... Greg! Ah, uh, yay, Greg! Or, or maybe not yay, because Greg's spending the rest of his eternity in hell. Oh, no, Greg. It turns out that Greg is so infamous that they managed to get a page in the Roblox Myth Community Wikipedia. So this person isn't just bad. They're like myth level of evil. They might be killing people. Apparently their account was terminated on March 21st, 2017, after a series of rumors mostly spread by Roblox YouTubers during... 2017. Apparently, a large number of early Roblox accounts had their verified emails publicly leaked. As a result, people began to find the passwords for these emails and send passwords resets to it. This is most likely the reason that Greg was eventually compromised. An unknown user even sold Greg's account for $200 on a hacker form. This fan land is interesting because it actually has dialogue throughout it, like, like this noob that says, uh, hello, I, I don't think this cage will hold? I don't even know what that's supposed to mean. There is a lot of dialogue in this game. Uh, these people just saying dot dot dot, so, so maybe less dialogue than I expected, but this guy in the corner seems to be different than the rest. Hi, my name's Giga Guest. How about you? Well, hello, Giga Guest. You can talk? Yes. Okay, so this is Banland specifically made for the guest of Roblox, which were a removed feature. Once upon a time when you joined Roblox, you could play as a guest and didn't have to make an account, but you could never talk. But this guest had a weird glitch happen to them, which made it fair for them to talk, and they don't think it's fair that the guest got put down here. I completely agree, and apparently I should. Don't tell me what to do. Anyway, yeah, that that's sad and ominous. Rip guest. But it's not my problem. Let's go through this portal. Oh. 
I died. And ended up in my world? Wow. So yeah, okay, I guess this one's actually kind of a myth because uh, there are guests here and this is this is a lot less of a hell. It seems that they found their salvation in this place where they're hanging out with bacon hairs and classic Roblox noobs. So this video actually has a happy ending. Maybe there is an escape from Banland if you get banned. Maybe there's not. The only way to find out is to go there yourself. Goodbye. Woo.